What we are, what I want to go through today is to finish up our discussion that we began last time, which was a bit on the more formal side of mathematics for how to like properly show and how to how to solve relativity. Um, you know, just basically getting used to some of the some of the more formal um, notation that you'll definitely encounter in further in further classes, either on mechanics or um, uh, basically. Well, you'll see when we get there, but it's called tensors. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, there's kind of a cool proof that I wanted to, to review for at the end of last time. Uh, that says momentum there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a cool proof that I wanted to finish up, and uh, I'm curious if any of you were actually able to kind of solve it on your own. Um, and the proof was to show that the um, the Minkowski metric is invariant under Lorentz transformations. So I, I'll have a little bit uh, more to say about that in a moment. And then uh, then we're getting on to relativistic dynamics here, which is basically not just uh, transforming velocities, but, but now looking at energies and mass and momentum. And this is where we get that famous E equals MC squared result. So uh, this is kind of the more, you know, some of the more, the, uh, I don't want to say, th this is a, basically what leads us to general relativity. Um, I'll say that. So. Um, which um, I, I, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, general relativity, and we'll actually see a little bit of the notation here today as well. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and um, uh, restate the proof that that we had for the, um, the end of last class here. 